the students always were removed from the classroom so that we could continue with classwork. At other campuses. At other campuses everywhere. And instead, at this campus, even though I was threatened, physically assaulted by 11-year-old students, the principal continued to send them back to the classroom every day. Every day. And they were in my face, cussing at me, telling me, here, we're back, I'm back. And they just had no problem. They went down to the principal and told them her, themselves that I was keeping them after school the first day. And they came running back after six period telling me, we just talked to the principal and we're not gonna stay at all. We don't have to stay. So what do you think of that? <laughs> and what's your understanding of your ability to keep kids after school? My understanding is that, you, that per the district, you have at least 10 to 15 minutes that you may keep a student after school without parental consent. The principal at this school advised me that there are no students that can stay after school, not even for one minute, based on district policy. That's all. No students are to stay here at all. And also her policy is we do not take kids out of the class, period. How do you know that? During my dismissal meeting with her, she stated that she reprimanded me for wanting the children out of this class, out of the classrooms. And, um, she, and I, I questioned her, I said, for any reason? Really? She goes, for any reason, no students are removed from the classroom. Period. And how does this compare to other districts where you've worked, even in tough schools, say? That's absolutely opposite of what the disciplinary actions I've been witness to contain and what is, what is actually implemented and done, followed through with. Students are removed from the classroom, you better believe it. If they block other students from the, being able to learn and feel comfortable and safe, for goodness sakes, they are removed, as it should be. Then their behavior is dealt with outside the class. They aren't continually sent back if they're that much of a problem. They're suspended. They're followed, they follow through the steps of the district policies as well as their own school additional policies. And they follow through as documented. They make sure that the teacher's in the classroom and able to teach. Can you name some other schools that have a similar population where you've seen this discipline implemented effectively? Uh, Riverview Middle School is an, ex is an awesome example. Uh, Any time that I had uh, discipline problems or made support calls, which were few, very few actually, surprisingly, uh, because of the... Um, administrators. They, the, any time that I made a call, an administrator, often the principal herself, would be at the classroom within minutes to take the child out of the classroom. Talk to them, depending on what action or what, what the issue was that the behavior um, warranted a support call, they would maybe be returned or they would not. If it was something that was ongoing, they would not be returned, period. The school is for learning. Classrooms are for learning. 